So we really need to construct a very good peace offer here uh, when piecing out with the Crimea because they do hold a very interesting spot in, in where we are located uh, as, as Lithuania because if they ally the Ottomans, that could give the Ottomans a foothold. And we haven't really talked about the Ottomans very much, but they definitely are a really big threat. Uh, you know, I've really had my sights set on Muscovy this entire series so far, but the Ottomans are also right there next to my ally Poland, and they could really mess us up if they choose to. And so we're finishing out this war right now, which will be good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a few provinces and, and you know, just core them out. That way, we, you know, I don't think there's really anything we can do to stop Crimea from allying the Ottomans. The only thing we really can do is just make sure that they're weak enough uh, so they don't really serve a threat. And, and maybe someone else will kind of take them out. More than likely, the Golden Horde will see. Maybe if we leave them with, like, two provinces left, then uh, maybe the Golden Horde will, will come in and take them out. But we just want to weaken them enough so that they don't serve a threat. They can ally the Ottomans. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, but I, I, I don't want them to have this strong of a hold just north of the Black Sea. So, let's continue off. Oh, also, we need to choose our idea group. We discussed um, going between... We discussed going to religious ideas, but I, it's not as good as, I think, humanist ideas. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's, let's grab this idea group right off the bat, and uh, it'll really help us out. The only problem with that one is that, it, I, mean, I guess, both of those idea groups are they are going to require administrative power. And that's kind of something that we're going to really need as we begin to co continue to core more and more land. So, uh, that's something to take note of. Uh, what happened? Okay, so we got another war going on. I, I'm so lucky that these Crimean patriots did not cross over into our territory. That would have been a big deal. Alright, so we're finishing out the last two provinces here. Um, oh, and we got another technology. Perfect. So not used to this. In my other campaign, uh, campaign I'm playing as the natives, so it's just it's so weird how fast technologies and stuff like that is moving. It's scary to me. I feel like I'm doing really good when in actuality I'm just keeping up with the pack. Oh, I can, I can build a couple things, but I don't think there's really any buildings that I, I absolutely have to build right now. Um, obviously, an armory would be nice at some point, as well as I love building temples, but nothing right now. We're going to keep this, we're going to delete this hammer. Is there anything mission? Is Mission-wise, is there anything we can go for? I don't think so. We've already, we've, we've picked up ourselves two vassals, two new vassals. Uh, yes, they are our vassal. Let's go ahead and go for this mission here. They're asking us to claim our rival's province. What are we going to get for this? 5 prestige and 25 military power. We do need to really work on our prestige. It's only at 41 right now. Yeah, we had some issues with prestige in the beginning because of a few factors. But, uh, you know, with the more the more wars we go to, uh, that'll definitely improve. So it's not really anything to worry about. Okay, let, let's see exactly where this province is. Uh, okay, with the Golden Horde. Yeah, I, I agree with that. We should probably, just in case, have ourselves a, a claim on the Golden Horde. I mean, who knows? If we see someone getting completely wrecked, then we need to join in and make sure that we get a piece of the pie. Especially as Lithuania just kind of in the middle of everything. There's just, sub just actually not so much in the middle of everything because Poland, our ally, really controls everything from the southwest. Um, everything else, though, is all us. It's really nice. I feel safe. As long as Poland stays strong, I do feel pretty safe having Poland right here, like kind of, you know, I guess keeping my back safe. Keeping my back safe is the best best way I can put it. Somewhat. I mean, I'm sure they're going to pull me into some really stupid wars. Sweden has got some really big issues. Uh, oh, you're still under your personal union with Denmark, so you didn't win that war. That's an issue. I, I really was hoping that Sweden would be able to get uh, to do good. Oh, Levithian Order and Teutonic Order. They, Livonia, I'm sorry, Levithian, what the hell? Uh, Livonian Order and the Teutonic Order are both still supporting the independence of Sweden. But I'm wondering what these rebels, what are these guys? Pretender rebels, so they're not happy about this. Uh, did you become a vassal? Yes, you did, to the Golden Horde. Okay. That that figures. That figures. And we also have, what is this? Finnish Patriots. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Hopefully that goes good. Actually, this is uh, more than likely Livonia and the Livo the order, this order nation will probably be able to take out uh, those Patriots. That's, I mean, they've got, they probably have a better general. Maybe, maybe, not so much, but they, they do have the extra manpower. Of course, something negative. For the next five years, um, I guess we'll go with national manpower modifier. Because, I mean, our manpower isn't the best. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for that one. That's fine. I mean, I don't need the maximum. I don't need to have, like, a lot of... And we already have a lot as uh, as Lithuania, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we we don't have all of our... We don't have 100% war score. We still have to piece out their ally. 
Uh, we definitely need to do that, but unfortunately the length of war is still an issue, as well as your military has still not been taken out. I'm, 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 I'm guessing, though, at, s at some point... Oh, the Ottomans declared war on Kandar. Uh, at some point, though, I, I assume that you've got to have some high war exhaustion. Almost. Uh, you certainly have more war exhaustion than, than anyone on our side. Well, I guess it's just me and Riga, but still. What is this? Defender of the Faith? No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so let's get the hell out of these lands. Let's maybe go off... Maybe go back over this way. Yeah, I'm going to go out over this way, and we'll see what happens. Does Finland have... I'm assuming that Finland has cores on a lot of things. Yes, they do. A lot of things in Sweden. That's really nice. Uh, I wish it was more things in Novgorod, though. I mean, the Sweden... I don't plan on really going to war and dealing with Sweden until after Muscovy. Muscovy is number one priority. Um, even though I had to you know, go to war with, Cry with Crimea before to kind of make sure that the Ottomans aren't a big threat to us in the rest of this campaign. They still are. They are still somewhat of a threat. They're always going to be somewhat of a threat. Oh, military technology. Um, but this camp, this entire war was just to make sure that the Ottomans are out of our hair for more than likely another, like, 50 years or something like that. I, they could always declare war in Poland, and then, you know, we have to fight that battle. But more than likely, the Ottomans have so many other things to deal with. Why would they declare war in Poland? Uh, or, 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 I guess, the March of Poland anyways. I, I just doubt that they're going to do it. And uh, our, war exhaustion, or our war exhaustion is going up, so the national unrest is also going up. We should be careful with that. Uh, and how long until we can annex these guys? At least Riga. Oh, we still have a while. About seven years, I'm assuming, for both of them. It's going to be about 1461, 1460 for Riga. Okay, so I'm thinking well, we're going to have to sit out a few wars. We can't just jump into another war because uh, we have to wait for our manpower to take back up. Well, it's taking it back up now, so that's good. So we are kind of saving. I don't know how my aggressive expansion is going to be. Novgorod has entered a peasant's war. Uh-oh. And I believe the truce is about to end between Muscovy and Novgorod. Is it? No, they still have... They still have till about... Yeah, they have about like five years or something like that. And Kazan has gotten weaker. I don't like that because Kazan is a really good enemy horde for Muscovy. Uh, but I guess, I mean, I guess this, this horde could provide some, some support. Oh, they're allied to the Timurids. Wow, that's a big alliance there. Oh, that's... Oh, no, that's Kazan. I'm sorry. Well, that's still a pretty big alliance, though. Okay, so you guys down to peace out or what, man? I mean... I'm assuming that you you'd want to peace out soon. No. Okay, so we're gonna have to just wait it out. It's gonna it's probably gonna cost it's probably gonna wait take another what another year at least maybe like a year and a half before uh, we're gonna be able to finally peace out these guys. That's fine. I mean, I'll let my manpower pick tick back up. We'll get some more money, do some missions. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Conquer, conquer where? Uh, I'm. What the hell? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to do that mission. No, hold on. Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, I actually do want to conquer that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take this. Because that's... Wait, wait, wait. Who are you allied to? Teutonic Order. That's nothing. I don't care. We'll jump into that. Let's let's go ahead and take it. I don't know exactly when that war is going to break out. I don't, I don't want it to break out anytime soon. I don't know about what these Finnish patriots are going to really do. I, I, I don't know. I mean, if, 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 this, if these guys could, you know, be released, and the longer they sit there, it will happen. I can't go to war while I'm already at war with Crimea. I, can't, I just can't do it. I need to at least wait until we're out of this war and give, just give it like a few months in between. Who knows the aggressive expansion that I'm going to have to be dealing with at this point. Also, has my force limit gone up at all? A bit. Let's go ahead and hire another Merc. Uh, I need to keep... Well, no, I'm not going to hire myself another Merc yet. But I need to keep myself a Merc army because as we continue to go north and attack Novgorod or Sweden, we need to have just a strictly a, a Merc army to be able to siege out uh, provinces and carpet siege and stuff like that. We can, you know, send in our own forces when it comes to battles, but uh, we can't have our own armies just sitting there and, and sieging it. That just... Oh, that kills. That's just going to kill me. You down yet to peace out or what, buddy? No, you're probably not yet. I doubt yet. Oh, there we go. Get some money. I don't even know what to do with this money. I know we can go way over, way over our force limit if we really wanted to. Actually, I could probably build a few buildings uh, that would be useful. I wouldn't mind an armory. Are there any buildings? Wow. So all these, all, almost all these guys are going to provide us... Oh, here we go. Here's 25. Oh, shit. That was totally a misclick. Okay, well, I might as well build it there. We've got the money. Doesn't doesn't matter. It was still, It was still an okay place to build it, I think. Anything else? No. Oh, 22 here. Okay. 22 here. 20. 
That's about it. I don't think I want to... Okay, maybe maybe a few more. That's it. We'll see. We're making a lot of ducats, so uh, that's so sweet. That's that's so awesome to be making that much money. Muskies declared war on Kazan. Uh-oh. Okay, please tell me Please tell me the Timurids have joined in. Okay, that'll help out a little bit. Unfortunately, the Timurids, I... I know are not cool with this horde to their north to their north, so I'm pretty sure they're not going to get military access. They might. Uh, no, they have a, they have a hostile they have a hostile attitude. Damn. So I don't think the Timurids are going to be able to back up Kazan. That sucks. That does suck. But I mean, hey, we're going to get ourselves a whole lot a whole lot of provinces right now. A whole lot more of provinces. And let's make sure that you... I just hope you don't ally anybody else. That that would be the only thing that would really, really suck right now. Is if they ally anybody else. Oh, that would suck. Okay, so Super Peace. Can we do this yet? No, we're still so far away. Is it... What's going on? Why am I not getting... I, I still have to wait maybe until that length of war goes down to completely nothing. So yeah. Another maybe five years. Another year still left to go. QQ declared war on H-A-A-S-A. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that at all. Maybe I should just jump into it. I'm thinking I, I should. Just do it now. I mean, although I am kind of waiting for these Finnish Patriots to maybe uh, go off into Finland. That would be great. Our truce has ended. Okay. Golden Horde has declared war. Oh, so now these hordes are at it. Okay, so that's these are all. this is all good information to know. I need to really keep up. I'm, I'm loving the, no the notification system. As you know, that's kind of the way I play this. Is I really like having as much information as I can. I want to know every single war that happens. And so now we know that these guys are at war. We know that Muscovy and Kazan is at war. That the Timurids are technically supporting, but I don't think they're going to be able to really support that much. Also, this is going to distract Muscovy from being able to really take out a weakened... Uh, Oh, we got some peasants up here, too. Wow, a lot of rebels. What's going on with all these rebels? Oh, you guys are at... Novgorod's in a peasants' war. I forgot about that. Yeah. So they're in a peasants' war. They're not looking very strong. But Muscovy's got to be pretty distracted with Kazan. I'm assuming they've got to be distracted enough with Kazan, at least. Uh, I don't have a truce with these guys, right? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, perfect. I was a little worried about that. Okay, let's try again. Let's try ourselves again. You look like you might be ticking down your war, your war exhaustion. Or because you got out a few wars, maybe it's been going lower and lower. But ah, it sucks that my, my, my shit's just continuing to go up. There we go. Okay, it's about time. Looks like... Uh, I, I don't know exactly what happened. I mean, maybe you lost... Oh, war exhaustion. That, that's helping us out. That's giving us a little bit more points. So by next month, we should be good to go. For the next five years, more unrest. I don't think I want to do that. I'll go ahead and just take the administrative power loss, only because we're about to we're about to take some provinces here. Okay, so let's make sure we get these guys out of here. Uh, I don't think we get, we probably can't ask for anything. That's fine. Can you give me some money? No, you're not willing to give me anything. No money or anything. That's like like that. That seems that seems reasonable, I guess. All right, so this is key. We need to make sure that we really. Try to, I don't know, I mean, try to make this peace offer, this peace treaty, the best that we can so that it doesn't come to bite us in the ass in the future. Because if we're not careful, well, we could fully annex these guys. Oh, I didn't even realize we could fully annex these guys. Well, that would kind of solve everything. That would solve everything, but we would be acquiring a lot of Sunni territory. That's, that's a little bit, that scares me. But we don't have to worry about Crimea allying to the Ottomans. Although, the Golden Horde can ally to the Ottomans as well. But Crimea serves... Crimea's powerful. I'm just going to fully annex these guys. Oh, wait a second. I don't know if I can. I forgot about aggressive expansion. It's so much worse inside of... Uh, well, you know what? It's only... It's only uh, Islamic... It's only Islamic nations that are going to be pissed off at me. That's fine. As long as Muscovy's not too mad, that's fine. I don't care. Let's do it. I think everything should be okay, but we really, really need to handle this as fast as we can. Let's make sure that we get the cores on some of the smaller stuff first. I don't know if we're going to be able to go to war with the uh, with Livonian Order anytime soon, unfortunately. And that's fine. That's okay, because we're still waiting exactly to see what this Finnish Patriot, these Finnish Patriots are going to do. Um, and I, as long as... As long as I'm able to acquire a few of these provinces before I am fully have annexed Finland, then everything's okay. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to annex Finland. I just need to, at, at some point, I want to get there before Muscovy declares war on Finland. I'm sorry, Novgorod. 
Uh, I want to be able to protect Novgorod or at least take um, provinces myself and, and not allow them to have it. So I'm definitely going to have to increase the autonomy in some of these areas. And that's, yeah, that's certainly going to have to happen. And there's nothing I can really do about it. And I don't even mind. I'm, I'm not I'm not worried about it. You can, you can have your autonomy. You can sit here. I just wanted to take you out of the game. Really wanted to take you out of the game. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a lot of rebels for... Next few years. Okay, let's go ahead and send the army back down south, because I, I think that we're going to have to deal some shit. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to deal with some shit. How is my heir? He's nine. Okay, so I can't technically put my king as a general general just yet. Oh, there we go. There's something nice for us. And uh, I'm, I'm seven across the board, right? No? Why, what is this? Oh, okay. Who, who, what is it? Why is that? Because Poland, Finland... Uh, Riga. Oh, I guess I, if I, what am I doing? If I just go over this way, I can check exactly. So, Novgorod has uh, given us, given us trade power. That's fine. Oh, 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 Theodoro. They've become our vassal. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize that I was going to take over their vassals. I didn't know that happens. Okay, well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll go ahead and take it. We'll take the, the lack of, uh, I guess we'll take the lack of Diplo points. I mean, it's not that much, so it's not a big, big deal. Wait a second. This one was also, right? Yeah, this this one was also uh, someplace we need to increase autonomy in, but that's about it. Okay, boom. So stay safe. Everything should be good. We didn't have to increase autonomy there, but, it, I mean, those rebels are going to continue to be pissed off for the rest of the game if we don't do something. Can we start to convert any of the Islamic nations? No, or the Islamic provinces. Nothing. Well, damn, that sucks. Well, we're very unlucky. Okay, so we have to deal with some crap here. Uh, that's what happens, though. That's what happens. Let's see exactly how pissed off people are towards me. I'm just glad that it's it's just hordes, really, and the Ottomans. So as long as it's not Europe, who cares? Europe prize couldn't be happy with me. A few years and, and everything from Europe is they're gonna be they're gonna be just fine. So that's nice. Uh, oh, technically this is oh oh technically Crimea. Oh, you know what? I think those rebels, those rebels, those are Crimean patriots. Oh, so Crimea's still alive. But that's fine. They're weak enough where it's not a big deal. We took enough away from them. Poland declared war on Hungary. Whoa. Whoa, that's a big one. The Ottomans declared war on Karaman. Why did you do that? Poland, what are you doing? Oh, you're at war with, oh, you shit, you're at war with France. You better not call me into that shit. Oh, you're an idiot. You are a freaking idiot. Why didn't you call me into that, first of all? I mean, I would have dissolved. I would have definitely dissolved the alliance there. I, I am not going to take that. What the hell, Poland? That was stupid of you. We just talked about in the last video how I felt so lucky. The fact that you know Poland is kind of keeping our back safe. I, that, I guess that's not the case anymore. National spy defense, but we get more trade income modifier. I like that. Lose mercantilism. Let's go ahead and for the next ten years, getting in one extra mercantilism. What's our mercantilism right now? I don't think it's anything... Oh, shit. This is not the right one. Uh, it's at 10. Uh, I don't know if I want it to go to 9. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more. Yeah, 10 is kind of low. 10 is kind of low. I mean, I'm not 100%. Mercantilism is a really confusing part in this game. I'm still not 100%. Wow, Novgorod. What the hell is going to happen to no Novgorod? Peasants, I don't think they're going to do much to it. I don't think that... I don't... Well, they could. Oh, nope. They're good. Never mind. I was completely wrong there. Okay, boom, let's make the core there. And we still need to, of course, core Crimea. It sucks that I had to increase autonomy so much, but, I mean, what am I going to do? I, I can't have these guys revolt. I mean, they would revolt multiple times at 80% chance of uprising. Because, uh, you know, after they uprise, it, it takes them a few years before they uprise again. What the hell? What the hell happened? You guys, you, wait, what? What, what happened? They're, they're just gone. I guess we, inc we increased autonomy so much that uh, they're good. Nice. Well, that's cool. And maybe I didn't. Maybe I shouldn't have increased autonomy. <laughs> Especially in some of these good provinces. Look at that. Seven base tax from their, from their capital. That's awesome. That was the one province that I was okay with going to this war. But I figured, you know, oh, we weren't going to be able to get it. I don't know why. I just assumed that it was going to cost too much war score to be able to fully annex them. So that really wasn't on my mind at that moment right there. Wow. Okay. Looking good. We're looking pretty good. All right, look at that font size. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with some more rebels, but that's fine. Our war exhaustion is going to tick down, and uh, 
and some other things are going to happen. We have to wait for, obviously, these cores to finish up. So, And we're going to, oh, man, it's going to cost us so much administrative power. I'm glad that we have Riga here. We're probably just going to vassal feed as best we can. Um, really quick. Ugh, technology costs, but I'm going to have to lose administrative and diplo points. Or just lose prestige. I'm just going to lose the prestige. I would like the technology cost to go down, but I've already got like a bonus uh, that's giving me technology cost uh, negative 10%, so it's not that big of a deal. I didn't want to lose more administrative power than I already am. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.